Okay. And now the theorem is going to be if G is a graph on n vertices and every vertex in G has at least n over 2 neighbors, then G has a Hamiltonian cycle. This is the theorem of, of G A Dirac. And Dirac was one of the very f important early pioneers in the subject of graph theory. Uh, he did some really spectacular work. And one of his early students uh, is a, a man named Karsten Thomason. And Thomason is about the same age as I am, which means he's old as dirt. But uh, Karsten Thomason is still today uh, one of the top one, two, three graph theorists in the world. So uh, Dirac's lineage uh, is, is extremely important in the, in the field. So the theorem is going to be, if you have a graph on n vertices and every vertex has at least n over 2. Now let's think about what it means to say at least n over 2. If n is even, well, n over 2 is n over 2. It's an integer. But when you say it has at least n over 2 when n is odd, it rounds up. So when you say it's at least 17 over 2 and it's an integer, what does that mean? It means it's 9, not 8. So if you look at the complete bipartite graph, k n n plus 1, that doesn't satisfy the condition. Because the vertices on the big part have only n neighbors, and n is smaller than 2n plus 1 over 2. Clear? So the complete bipartite graph, Kn, n plus 1, is explaining why this theorem is tight. You can't get a stronger theorem if, if you can prove this one. OK, we're going to prove this. And this is a real mathematical proof but it is also the, the development of an implementable computer algorithm. So as we understand the proof, you will, you will be able to see, I could go out, go home, and take my favorite programming language and write a program that would do this, implement this proof in a heartbeat. So let's take a look at it. 